Very busy weekend fit for champions. Good evening, I'm Jen Bernstein. And I'm Ben Goldman. Thanks for joining us here. Hartford getting ready to welcome people from all over the state for the next few days. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's opening day for the Hartford Yard Goats, and the city's hosting UConn's National Championship Parade Saturday. Here's a look at the parade route. Just Rachel Frank for a first check of the forecast tonight. Bit of a drizzly, misty, raw night out there. Mm -hmm. Hi, Rach. Great words to describe it out there. And New video at 10 tonight shows the moment police say State Representative Robin Cohen flipped her car in downtown Hartford just blocks away from the Capitol. Yeah, State Representative Comey was arrested and charged with DUI after that crash. Fox 61's Jake Garcia has been looking. Police have identified a woman who they say drove away after hitting another woman with her car. Well, Connecticut is getting $56 million to upgrade air filtration systems in public schools across the state. That Ahead here on the news at 10 tonight, Passover just started. It's and welcome back. The Jewish holiday of Passover began at sundown tonight. Tonight. Passover is a seven day holiday that happens in the spring. It commemorates the good news, Rachel. Thank you. All right, still ahead on the Fox 61 News at tonight. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer has struck down a near century old abortion ban in the state. Today, she repealed a night public radio are upset tonight after Twitter labeled the organization as, quote, state affiliated media on the social media platform. NPR says it's just ahead on the news at 10 tonight. One Connecticut city announced.